Hey guys, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. This is Rotten Gaming, and I am Steejo. We are just at the end of releasing Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 4 shit hits the fan. Uh, that didn't really work out too well for us, unfortunately. But I mean, we could always release some of our sequels to our, uh, our cash cows, should I say. Much like the old Call of Duty. Um, so, what do I do? I was wanting to develop an MMO. Uh, so develop a sequel to Star Wars, which is our perfect 10. MMO on the PC, uh, Rotten Source 5.0. This will be Star Wars, Wars Online. Next, 3D graphics, of course. <clears throat> I'll read. It's a large game, it's not a... Uh, That's not going to be a. I should have left that where it was. This is this is the sliders that we got the perfect ten with. Paul Reed and I think it was Jackson Bishop. I can never remember this. <clears throat> this is Julian Rickstall. Got words you're working on a new game. Yes. Hype it. Thank you. No problem. And I want to do some marketing as well as getting the hype off of her. Oh, for Christ's sakes. It's always someone. Recently racked up over 5 million in sales. That's not bad. Stijo and Edward. So that's Stijo and Eduardo. Yeah, I don't know why he wasn't going. I was like spam clicking on him. Ah, <clears throat> uh, the hype's building. The fucking stats are building as well. Like mad. Yes, yes, we've got James and Tiffany. So, Tiffany and James. It's now off the market generating 80 million in sales. Wow, that actually done alright. Oh, nice. We've got a large booth. Cheers. So, Star Wars Online should be. Uh, should receive some fucking ridiculous amounts of hype. I want you to debug it, uh, you can go on vacation and you can go on vacation. I kind of want everyone to be like, uh, go on vacation at the same time, that'd be nice. Let's see how many visitors we get to our booth. 1.5 million, nice, new record. That should be first again. Yeah. We'll go just iron out the bugs, guys. Um, they want the Rotten Souls 3.1. We've already given away the 3.5. Yay, 20,000 fans. Fantastic. We're almost at a million fans. One more bug. And release. New record for tech. That's awesome. Release the game. 3D graphics V7. Woohoo! The first reviews have come in, and I'm seeing tens. Oh, I'm also seeing nines. Fuck you, Star Games. Star Games, I mean, it's a fucking space game, sci fi. Yeah, nine, ten, ten, ten. Awesome. Uh, Steve Perry, generate a game report for us, bro. Cheers. And you're already a specialist, so we'll train you. Uh, you can be a tech specialist now. The newest game in the series titled Star Wars Online was made with outstanding responses. Fantastic. Tiffany, you're already a specialist, didn't you? I don't want to waste my time on giving you boost. Uh, you are a specialist already. Jackson, uh, I don't want to train you just now. Microsoft has announced plans to release a completely revamped version of the Mbox early next year called the Mbox Next. The new console seems to cleverly integrate the own motion sensor add-on into one small package. Visually, the Mbox Next is reminiscent of the earlier Mbox 360 with much lighter tone, marking a departure from the bulky and dark style of the Mbox One. The technology of the Mbox Next seems promising, but we'll see how the console will face up against competitors. Uh, we'll train Stijo. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Um, 
how you can do level design. That's right. Oh, no, I can't. But you should be able to do level design. Um, we'll get him to do level design as soon as we've got the research points, I suppose. Made a decent amount of sales. Um, okay, as soon as the market's normalised again, no particular strong trends. As soon as these two are finished. Actually, is there anything... Oops. Is there anything that you can research? Um, dialogue, duty, stories and quests. So, reactive quests, 150. Fuck me. Anything for 60? Online play, maybe? That'd be good. Probably a good idea to, to fucking unlock online play by now. We're releasing MMOs, but not online play. So is in quest would be important for this type of game. Yeah, I would imagine so. Still ranked 1 in the world for sales. Pretty damn good. We've almost got this finished. Bump that up to 3 million. Get it released quickly. And hopefully this will generate us some steady monthly income anyway. Yep, new research software development kit. SDQs, start project. 3D graphics v7. The ultimate graphics technology, this will look better than reality. If anyone ever builds a holodeck, then this is the graphics engine it would run on. Yeah, research that, bitches. I want that done before we release another game. So, uh... Yeah, everyone, you can do contract work. And I'm going to let them all get tired because I want everyone to be on vacation at the same time. Uh... Find contract work, logo animation. We tired again. Uh, many have expected Vony will announce a new platform before Microsoft's Mbox Next will hit the market. Today Vony did just that. Keeping with company tradition and in, in contrast to a competitor, Microsoft's naming practices, the newly announced console is aptly named the Play System 5. Play System 5 seems an incremental update coming out later next year with the form factor that reminds of the early Play System 3. The new system promises to be a solid update, but we will see how the console will fare against competitors. Um, more contract work. That says we'll just go do contract work until everyone's tired because I want everyone to be going on holiday at the same time. Thank you for taking care of this. Uh, find contract work, library software. Oh, excellent. Cheers. Fine contract work, character dialogues. Like, these things just get demolished. More contract work. An alien search. Perfect. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. Find the aliens! 313 grand, and that's pretty much all that we can do just now. There's no more contracts. No expansion packs I want to release just now. Yeah, kind of just sit about. The inbox next has been released. Uh, how much are these things? Let's do a small game. Let's do a small military action. Just an action game on the PC, Rotten Source 5.0, call it Call of Duty, um, mature one, next, yeah 3D graphics, let's just make this, engine, gameplay, Susan quests, write down, uh, okay, Dialogues right down, AI right up. I don't really care how it goes. Diamond, sell 10 million copies of the game with the help of a publisher. Nice! Achievable. Go, uh Graphics right up, sound down a bit, and world design at nothing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I don't do action games. It's just a little small game. 
it'll be interesting just to release it while we're, uh, we're waiting on people. Hey, new condo. Can I get Steve Perry to do a... Fuck, see how long is it going to take these guys? Any not worth a statement. One of the worst. Whoops. Disappointing. Boring. All games. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll probably lose like a million fans for that. Uh, let's get a large booth. Okay, we're gonna have to send these guys away on vacation. Nah, just leave it. We'll just leave it. We've got enough money right now. We can kind of rest on our laurels. Kind of an expansion pack to Star Wars Online. But as soon as 3D Graphics V7 is done, we will... <laughs> Call Protocol. It's just Halo. <laughs> as soon as this is done, we'll release a new game engine. Oh god, Call of Duty. <laughs> We're losing fucking fans. Uh, 1.5 million people. Are these guys not wanting to go on vacation? Is that what it's doing? Is it just gonna fuck us in the ass like that? Research was successful! Yay! So what we do now is we want to create a custom game engine, we want to put 3D Graphics V7 in it, uh, immersive storytelling and online play. Yes, and this is called Rotten Source 5.1. Actually 6.0 because it's got that like, ridiculously good 3D graphics in it. These guys are absolutely useless. Hey, finally! So now I wait until these guys are like right at the bottom. Or at least halfway. And then I send them all on vacation at once so that everyone's everyone's going on vacation at the same time. It's like a uh, a company holiday. There's 1.4 million Call of Duty duty. I think that's only because we've got a lot of fans that just buy things. See, this is going to take ages because, like, we're running on basically three people. But like I said, I want everyone going on holiday at once. I like how these guys are just sitting here, getting paid for doing nothing. But yeah, Star Wars Online really needs a new expansion pack. Uh, at least now, everyone goes on holiday at once and then they're all back and ready to go. Oh shit, uh, I need to tell them to do something at my R&D lab. Oh, it's only my own convention. I'll tone this down to a million then, and they can just generate me research points. That's good. And everyone's nearly at the bottom. I'll be like Steejo making his own fucking engine again. Almost. 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 And perfect. Okay, so you go on vacation. Uh, you go on vacation. The market's normalised. You go on vacation. You go on vacation. You go on vacation. And you go on vacation. So everyone's away on vacation. It's just Steejo left in the office by himself. Like the old times with his DeLorean. I wonder if he ever uh, fixed up his DeLorean. Why do these guys take so long to come back? No, no idea. But there we go, we've got everyone back from vac vacation now. The Rotten Soul 6.0 is complete, perfect, so that means that we can develop a expansion pack to Star Wars Online. Call it Star Wars Online. Two. Uh, version 1.1. There we go. Mature RPG adventure using the Rotten Soul 6.0. Yes. 3D graphics V7. Da -da -da -da. 
Oh shit, we didn't get a, a game report on Call of Duty. That's fine. Oh, almost. Got stories and quests up there. Engine stuff down. Immersive storytelling. Put online play. Obviously, online play needs to go into it. Um, we want you on stories and quests. Gameplay. Is gameplay a tech thing or not? Who was it normally? It's normally him and Jackson, as far as I remember. And then the engine could be done by Steve Perry. So, Paul Reed and Jackson. Paul Reed and Jackson. There we go. This is Julian Rickstall from Game of Pro. Yes, let's do an interview. Hype it. Thank you for your time, no bother. What I want you guys to do is can you guys do our own convention and we'll bump that up to 3 million. Uh, dialogues and AI down. So we want dialogues level 9. That's pretty good. Um, we have Edward on that and level design. No, actually, Edward on level design and dialogues. Can we have James on it? And we'll have Steejo on AI, I suppose. Sure. James and Edward. Edward and James. I think the first one was Edward and Jackson. Whatever. Doesn't make much difference. We've got a large booth. Hopefully our own convention will get finished soon. World design up there, graphics down a bit and sounds at the bottom. Uh, world design, we need a designy person. Oh, I must have fucked this up. And sound, we'll just put Tiffany on it I suppose. Actually, no, Tiffany can go there. Steve, you can go on the sounds. Actually, I suppose I could have Tiffany do sounds as well. Let's just let's just boost everyone. I've kind of fucked that up. <laughs> uh, hype's going through the well, I was going to say it's going through the roof. It's doing all right. I was half expecting our own convention to be finished before this. One point six million. Boom. A uh, thousand design and technology is not doing too well. 787. We've completed organisation of our own co convention. Awesome. Can we bump you down to a million again? I mean, I don't think there's any other projects that we can do here. Apart from, like, just spam the convention. Uh, marketing is a like an unconvention thing? No, no idea what happens. Uh, last couple of bugs. Star Wars is costing us a fucking ton. I don't that bug someone. There we go. Release. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Tiffany and Edward leveled up. Release the game. Alright, so what we want is we... Oh, no mind. I was going to get Steve Perry. It's eight? What the hell? Nine more, please. Eight, loved it. Nine, one of the best old games. Okay, so what we want is we want you to generate a game report and see what went wrong there. We want you to generate a game report and see what went terribly wrong there. You're already doing stories and quests. Uh, Stijo, you can be trained to do level design. Yes, you can. Alright. Um, James, you can be trained to do nothing right now. Tiffany, you can do AI or engine, which is useless for me. What else has got a relatively high tech skill? Level design we've already got. World design. Graphics, I suppose, which requires more design, so you can go on a game design course. Edward McGillicutty. If we get you doing more t 
tech, then you could do stories and quests. Oh no, we've got stories and quests. Um, oh, we could get you doing dialogues. So, a bit more tech. So that should get him on dialogues. Um, James, nothing really. That design seems to be quite important. Mature military is great. Try to focus the entire team on the development of a game. Yeah, that's because people were away. Alright guys, so with that we're going to call it an episode. I just realised we've went over 20 minutes. So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.